Okay then, so here we go. Right, so I'm a big fan, big, big fan of multi-part fonts like this one. This is Acia Bat uh, here and it's got a few different variants. If I go to my type menu here, come down to font, you can see here's Acia Bat just here and I've got text gris, text noir, text outline, text solid and text strokes. And you can see examples of all of those just here. Well, what's great about them is they're designed to be combined, to be kind of layered up on each other to create whole new effects easily. So if I go to another page here, I've actually got some of these ready to go. So this one's solid and above that, I've got this one here, which is noir. Uh, the one at the top, by the way, is gris. This one's outline and this one's lines. And if I select all four of those things just there, and align them because the boxes were exactly the same, you can see that I've got the potential to make all sorts of crazy things. Now, not normally in these colors, I've just made it easier for you to see uh, what I'm doing, but there you go, loads of possibilities. And I use these to do picture cards for my friend's flan business, or flan if you prefer, but we say flan over here. And so I've created these three things here. If I select them, like so and align them there you go i've got a whole different thing going on now i'm just going to undo that because the problem comes along when you need to make a change because then you've got to do exactly this you've got to get everything separated like that okay and then type the changes right and then go ahead and stack them all together again well you don't really have to because here's the thing what I did earlier was I created myself a type variable here. So if I come down to text variables here, you'll see that I've got uh, the definition here for my variables. And one of them is called, I love it when a flan comes together like so. And I'm just going to edit this one here. And uh, this next uh, store is called Flantasia like so. And if I hit okay, you can see all of those things change at once. So it doesn't matter if they are all layered together like that because all I need to do is go ahead, go to my text variables and then define that variable. Go to I love it when a flan comes together and edit it. Okay, and the next one will be flantastic like so. And there we go. And that's how you can make multi-part fonts work for you inside of InDesign using text variables. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Now for the bingo. Superb! Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.